Um, I just want to get on here and say, you know, um, rest peacefully, brother. Because uh, they took another strong black man away from us. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. They took another strong black man away from us. The hood saga continues. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Now hold on. This is the young man that uh, that lady and her son killed in the store. If you didn't get a picture of him or you don't know, only thing you see is the bull stuff. This is the nice picture of the young man. Just want to get on TikTok and express my, my feelings for you, bro. Um, it's sad that you had to lose your life over that situation. And, you know, it, it's, it's, it's kind of bad that they really tarnishing your name and you not here to give your side of what happened, you know, because your life was taken from you. So um, I just want to get on here and, and let TikTok know, you know, that um, regardless of whatever happened in that, you didn't lose, you didn't need to lose your life, man. And um, I just want to get on here and say, you know, um, rest peacefully, brother, because uh, they took another strong black man away from us um, that we could have used. Sad. It's really sad. He had his life taken. But yeah, I see what you mean, bro. Everybody acting like they ain't see the big picture, like the same video I seen, bro. This man was basically begging her to like stop the end in this argument, bro. Get your food and go on about your business. I don't know his exact words. He was basically saying, just get your food and leave me be, bro. Stop talking. And then she said something about going to the car. That's when he balled his hands up, bro. That was a defense, bro, not an offense. She talking about going to go get something from the car. So, yeah, I probably would have got on offense, too. And then... Y'all talking about that little boy saving his mama. He could have saved his mama by saying, hey, mama, come on, man. Let's just go. Let's just go, mama. Nah, but he had to go, you know what I'm saying, do what he did, bro. And y'all agreeing with that shit. That's weird. Travis, is this you? Yeah, I see you follow me. So you know how this is about to go. But I'm also going to address the person's video you stitched also. Because it ain't no fun. Unless the homies can get some. So I'm going to make sure both you all get some. Coordinated control. Is this you? Well, since your homeboy already corrected your use of tooken when it should have been taken, we're just going to speed past that one. Now, I don't believe any one of you all looked at the video that the rest of us saw. So let's start there. Yeah, where's that good guy you were talking about there? The good guy that found the need to close his hand and hit a woman, not once, not twice, but over three times just for talking in a public space. Yeah, you know what I'm tired of? I'm tired of you weak-ass men getting together and defending other weak-ass men. Now, you see this weak-ass piece of shit? He got exactly what he deserved. And maybe if more of them got what they deserved, we'd have fewer of them. But that 14-year-old boy would grow up to be more of a man than he would ever have been. And any of you all who are defending him will ever be. And I said what I said. And if you don't like it, you know how to unfollow. So as you guys may know, Carlisha Hood and her son had been released from jail all charges against her and her son has been dropped and you may also know that the young lady that made the recording of that video that probably helped her in the situation is now available and she's talking and it telling her side of the story Oh my God, that is the best coffee I've ever tasted. Uh, the young lady, the man was already arguing when I got there. So he was arguing when I got there. She was explaining to him something about the line. He 
kept on trying to get her to shut up. Like, if you don't shut up, I'm going to hit you on my grandma. I kept on being, you know, aggressive for her. She, she was never aggressive. Let me get that part straight. Um, I don't know. And I usually don't record. I just, he was so aggressive. He was like, I don't think he was himself that night. I really don't. He would rather say something like, you know, because you calm down, leave her alone. But looking at him, it was nothing I could do with that man. Because he was so angry. I believe if I would have said something, he probably would attack me too. So at that point, all I can do is put, pull out my phone and record. All the comments, how they was bashing that black woman on song, like they was just this. Like she just sent her son in the restaurant and said, just shoot a random person. Just like she was this bad mother. And we as black people, we get painted in that light all the time. Um, how about a smoothie? What's in that? Smoothie's a juice drink. We want coffee. Buddy, relax. As you may also know, that Talisha Hood is now filing or is now suing the city of Chicago for uh, for improper arrests and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> those clips right there from, you know, those three gentlemen uh, that two of which is, you know, you know it kind of sided with uh jeremy i mean my you know my thoughts on it is everybody has their own opinions so you know their their feelings and their thoughts for jeremy is theirs um the one gentleman that made his uh reply to the both of them same thing with him you know he said how he felt about uh the about jeremy what's you guys thoughts um i just pray you know that the young lady and her son be safe uh again i i really really feel that they should uh pack up and leave for their safety because if you got gentlemen like these, um, you know, that, that express their feelings for uh, Jeremy, I mean, Jeremy Brown, ain't no telling who else, you know, is feeling some kind of way now that, you know, they had kind of beat the charges and their loved one their best friend their guy you know lost his life in that particular situation so i just pray for the best but as you guys know this is going to be a continuing situation so um let's see how it play out and uh again let's hope for the best for him big cheese got it locked boy Won't you G.